Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Acres Lawn Care here, hope you're doing well. So with lawn renovation season just around the corner, I thought it'd be a really good idea just to sort of talk to you about some tips and tricks for scarifying your lawn. And a huge shout out to Cobra for sending us out the S40C machine. I've tested it out already and I'm very impressed. So we're gonna show you this machine and also show you what else Cobra's got to offer as well. If you've got a bigger lawn, then you wanna consider the S40C. There's three different sort of machines that you can get. You've got a battery, you've got corded. So I'll leave a link in the description if this interests you and you can check them out on the website and see if there's something that you might be interested in getting. But let's crack on with the video, shall we? Okay, so let's talk about two things to start off with. When you get a scarifier, usually you'll get the scarifying blades, which are not these. This is a power rake. This is what I class as a power rake. And this is designed to scratch the top surface of the lawn. And it kind of just rakes anything that is maybe just lying above the thatch area, because thatch builds up and just drops below the crown level. And then sort of you've got the soil, the thatch, and then, the springtime rake is what is going to sort of just scratch away at the top of the thatch that's not going to get rid of it so this is just perfect for kind of just your if you want to do it yearly just give your lawn a good scratch if you're quite a keen scarifier then this is a good device to use just to sort of if you haven't got much thatch but you want to just remove any anything laying flat between the crown then this is your your tool to use but if you're looking to remove quite thick thatch or moss then you want to use the scarifying blades these will dig deeper and they will pull out any thatch or any moss that will be in the lawn it will also aerate the lawn it won't aerate like a plugging machine will but it will leave sort of track marks in and that's also great for if you're looking to seed as well something for that seed to fall into so this is the s40c it's an e10 compatible which is great and it's got a 212cc engine. It will give you a 16 inch cutting width, working width, should I say. It's got a reasonable fuel tank as well, which is quite nice to have a large fuel tank on it. The thing I really like about this machine already is the height adjustment. There's no sort of steps, um, as, you, as I would say, you don't have to, you can't, don't have to just notch it down one. You can just rotate it and raise it up or raise it down so you can get the perfect height that you want comes with a good size box as well i don't usually like the boxes because that's on any machine any any scarifier i've ever used i just find that you get so much thatch out of the machine that you're emptying the box every sort of two meters so i tend to sort of take it off anyway right so a couple of things before we start obviously always safety first but make sure that you're scarifying your lawn in the springtime or in the fall. So you're really looking between end of March, beginning of April to sort of mid-May to sort of mid-September to end of October time is the perfect time to do it. If you do it in the summertime, the lawn will dry out because it, it does take a bit of a battering. So what we want it to do is still have those perfect growing conditions so that the lawn can bounce back. But once I'm done with this, it is gonna look a little bit like it's been beaten up a bit, but that's not to worry about, it will recover. And especially if you're looking to do a top dress over the top and add seed as well, you won't have an issue there at all. So don't worry about it if your lawn looks like it's been beaten up by Mike Tyson. Okay, so I've got this machine set at the right height because I've already tested it on the lawn. But before you do any scarifying, always start high and work down low. You don't want to go in just and tear up your lawn, especially if you've had a new lawn down and you're sort of maybe looking to do it a year later sometimes you can just rip up a bit of a chunk of lawn which is never good and so yeah let's crack on <laughs>
guys you can see already just how much fat just come out and this is this is a year's worth of growth because we we do a light scarify over this every year i'm only going lightly on this as well i just want to lift up any of the rubbish on on the surface really i'm not going too deep with this one but i'm really impressed with it and also what i really enjoy about using this is that i can raise up the blades start the engine and then when i'm ready to drop them i'm ready to go so i don't have to worry about starting the blade in the down position and then accidentally sort of digging a hole in the lawn if the blades are too low that's quite a good sort of little feature on this machine
Guys, one minute. Let's see if I can pick up all this pile of thatch here using the Dalek grab and lift. One minute. Right guys, we have done the first pass. I'm not gonna bore you with the second just because it's gonna be the same thing over again. But what I will be doing is I'm gonna go across this time anyway. But thank you for watching guys. Check them out, really enjoyed using this Scarify. Honestly, it's, it's a brilliant bit of kit and I really enjoy the height adjustment for, with this. It's just easier just to, if you feel like you wanna go a little bit lower, you can just rotate it and it would turn and drop it or you wanna raise it up just the other way. As well as the, the blade drop, it's just, it's just a good bit of kit you know it's it's well designed i really enjoy it and plus it looks quite i don't know it just looks quite funky kind of reminds me of something off of robot wars but hey ho thanks for watching guys just remember tips scarifying blade and then you've got the twin time sort of rakes uh, spring time sorry spring time rakes you use um for just sort of raking the surface this is what you want to go this blade on here the scarifying blade is what you want to use to really dig deep get that moss get that thatch out remember you want to be doing this in springtime or in the fall make sure the grass is kind of um the, the ground can be moist but the grass can't be wet when you do this just make sure it's dry but a moist day and yeah you'll be good with it guys any comments just let me know shoot them in there sorry it's not the best type of educational video i'm just more used to sort of plants not lawns but should have named myself acres plant care but anyway brilliant guys take care catch you soon